Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLE 7 which is all about farm waste management in poultry and livestock production. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 15 and 16. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to discuss the waste management system and poultry and livestock production. The second one is to demonstrate the ability to properly collect, sort, and store different types of farm waste. And the third one is to appreciate the rule of sustainable farm waste management in promoting environmental stewardship by creating their farm layout incorporating the solid waste management. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will accomplish the graphic organizer on the farm waste management practices. In establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will answer the match type activity. There are six basic functions consisting of waste management system, the production or the generation, collection, transfer, storage, treatment, and utilization. Production, this refers to the amount and nature of agricultural waste generated. Management of waste considers the quantity of waste generated as it becomes a major concern in dealing with it. The generation of waste should consider the following, the kind, consistency, volume, location, and timing. Collection, it is referred to as the initial capture and gathering of waste from its source or deposition to a collection point. It should consider the method of collection, location, scheduling, labor requirement, needed equipment and facilities, management, and impact. Transfer is referred to the transfer and transportation of waste throughout the system. This considers the transport of waste from collection point to the storage facility, treatment facility, and utilization facility. The system plan should involve the consistency of the waste to be moved, method of transfer, distance, frequency and scheduling, necessary equipment, Installation and Management Cost Storage, this refers to the temporary containment of the waste before transfer. Thus, a temporary storage facility is needed before it is being scheduled for pickup. This process should consider the storage period, required storage volume, estimated size, location, installation, and management cost, and impact of the storage. Treatment, this process involves the reduction of impact the waste can bring such as pollution and modification of the physical characteristics of the waste. Pre-treatment is an effective method to facilitate more efficient and effective handling of waste. This stage should consider the characteristics of waste, determination of the desired characteristics, selection of the type, estimated size, location, and installation, and management cost. Treatment includes solid and liquid separation, anaerobic digestion, thermochemical conversion, and anaerobic and aerobic treatment lagoons. Utilization, this process involves the reusing or recycling of waste products such as source of energy and source of organic matter through composting. 
proper treatment of agricultural waste can be profitable. So land application is the common practice of utilizing the energy and nutrients of the waste. This process should consider the selection of field, scheduling, design of the distribution system, selection of necessary equipment, determination of application rates and volumes, and value, and installation and management cost. For the work example, the students will form a group of three to share the fate of the byproducts and waste, if they are well managed or not. So the students will draw a flow chart to show the destiny of the byproducts and waste following the RA 9003.